Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're going to be going over the news for Adventure Quest Worlds and some Adventure Quest 3D news including Frostfell. We have two new classes for Adventure Quest Worlds, a new class for Adventure Quest 3D, and a bunch of other stuff to talk about today including Adventure Quest Worlds, maybe going over to a new game engine. Let's get into the news. Okay, sorry if I look a little bit tired, pretty tired right now, but the news must go on. First things first, my favorite bit of news. We are getting new pink gear for Belene's birthday. Very cool looking items, but wait, this is why you watch these videos. So on the cookie posts on artix.com, you might have missed this. It's at the very bottom of the page. Oh, by the way, they're doing a cookie contest if you want to win a um, one-of-a-kind weapon. Uh, for getting a first grand prize that is a contest you can enter if you're good at making cookies and stuff like that so you can enter that so if you click here you get this thing called much pinker gear it's the top right hand corner there uh, we have a few items here that aren't that a lot of people don't know about we got a dragon um, the staff looks pretty intense it looks really good and that helmet which is not announced and a few other weapons and armors mixed in there some very very cool stuff so all this gear will be coming out all the pink gear will be coming out on december the 16th on all the gear in this video it's just the pink stuff along with quibble coin biter and a new event the part one of the war karak versus cares roth uh... I don't know if I said that right, but uh, this looks like it's going to be part of that first war. Also, a new set of armor looking good from Blade. I like it a lot and uh, kind of got a Game of Thrones feel to the armor, but uh, I really like it. It looks good. Game of Thrones isn't a bad thing. <laughs> so we have a what looks like unfinished. I don't know why he's in his underwear, sort of. Uh, I don't know. He's in a Speedo or something. Uh, just a preview, so it's probably not finished. I'm guessing he's going to put some pants on this character. But very interesting looking gold armor. Uh, could be for a future Adventure Quest Worlds update. Uh, we don't know. It's very early stages there. So this is confirmed for Frostfell. Frostfell gear preview. I like it. Um, uh, if there's if these are daggers, I'll probably get them. It would look cool if you did like one forward and one backwards on the character. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. That would be a new thing for them to do. And a shield for those of you that like shields. So that's definitely a dagger set with the shield and sword. So, very cool looking set. Glacial Berserker class for Adventure Quest Worlds is done. So, uh, here's the art for it. We don't have any of the skills or anything like that for the class. Just the art. Mm, a sword to match the set, I guess. It looks it looks like the name. Uh, Glacial Berserker. It fits the name. Um, not my kind of style for an armor. I wouldn't wear it as an armor. But it does look good. Uh, this will be coming out at the end of the month on December 30th uh, for rep or ACs. So you can earn it by getting rep, I'm guessing, in the new war area. Uh, part 1 and part 2 of the war. Um, so probably a new area. On the 23rd, so right before Christmas, we're going to get the Lumina Quantity Shop and a 72 hour Frostfell Rare Drop uh, plus 2 times all boosts. So double gold, rep, class points. Um, what's the other one? I don't know. <laughs> uh, and also this month, at the end of the month, on January 1st, you'll be rewarded your Honorable Hero Rewards. So if you don't know what these are, I can show you real quick. So on my character page here, you will see the Honorable Hero for the two years it's, it's existed since 2014. So I have the 2014-2015. Uh, unlocked for not getting a mute or ban in 2015 and 2014. Now my account was uh, a little bit banned this year, but... Uh, they did say that I'll still get it, so let's hope I still get it, uh, we'll see. Uh, but if you did not get muted or banned, you'll get 500 ACs, I think that's what it was in previous years. They could, of course, increase or decrease it, depending on the year. Okay, so coming out this Friday, tomorrow, uh, if you're watching this video on the day it's uploaded, the Dark Ice Drake armor and helmets will drop from the week's boss monster the guy fury gift pile so his boss there's the uh, sets that drop from it looks pretty interesting i like it I, li I like the idea like the the frosty armors they look cool 
Uh, some more Christmas themed gear coming to Adventure Quest Worlds. These will be in the Hero Point shop. So if you buy something from Hero Mart, uh, the newer items have Hero Points with them. A uh, little, let me, I'll be right back. You get these little Hero Point uh, cards. This one's already redeemed, so that code won't work, but you put the code in, you get points. I got three for buying a mouse pad. And uh, yeah, so you get points and they're finally adding new gear to the shop. They've added a bunch of new items. Here's a male version of the same, and along with a little ferret pet with a Christmas hat on. Oh, he looks so cute. Um, that'll probably be coming out Frostfell probably on the 16th. Uh, maybe this week. Uh, it could be this week, which would be cool. But I think this armor is coming out this week because it's already on people's characters. But, of course, that is not confirmed. Alright, so this looks like AQ3D, but it's not. Uh, this is actually news for Adventure Quest Worlds. So if you pre-order the calendar for the calendar class, uh, that will... You will you should have a code in your email. So we are emailing extra in-game codes today as a thank you to all the people that pre-ordered it. This is for two reasons. For fir uh, First off, it's a thank you uh, for the people who order the calendars. And uh, second off, it will allow you to get the items first. So... Uh, one of the complaints I had about them allowing people to buy for ACs is you would get the class way before the people that order the calendar because they have to wait for shipping, uh, the people that order the calendar. So now uh, you should get a code today if you pre-ordered it. So you might have the class today. I don't know, maybe you have to wait for it tomorrow for it to come out. Uh, but uh, you might have the class today. So if you get the class today, tweet at me, show it to me on Twitter. That'll be cool. Um, other than that, uh, the class will be coming out tomorrow so if you talk if you don't know the class i'm talking about it's the calendar class that's coming out tomorrow so here's a sneak peek at the frost cell for adventure quest 3d uh we do have some more aqw news so stick around uh but we're gonna go through a little bit of aq 3d news so uh the tree pretty low resolution it might not be finished of course it's a, it's a sneak peek but uh, it looks it looks pretty cool uh honestly i like it uh, I wish the tree had a well they're probably not done they're probably not done it so I shouldn't be criticizing it but uh, it does look good it does look like it'll be something very nice so um, more stuff so they're doing improvements to a certain they're adding falling damage uh, color compare stats which is cool improved quest system scaling dungeons which is very nice more game options for mobile uh, from guessing they're adding sensitivity which would be great party systems banks are nearly complete darn close for the party system world and area map we literally just adding descriptions to the areas now so that'll be added soon cosmetic equip slots so uh they originally they're originally going to do like a transmog system which they call item fusion but i think the equipment slots would be, actually be a better idea i like that so yeah can't wait for that to be in the game you'll be able to so if you don't know what what that is, you'll be able to equip a certain item, like say you have this low stat item, but it looks really cool. You can equip that as a cosmetic item, and it won't replace the stats of the item that you're using, but it'll look on your character as if that item is equipped, but you still have the stats of the better item, uh, so you can make your character look cool. So really cool stuff. Environmental damage uh, for lava in the new zone. Uh, a bunch of other stuff. Class tree system, also a huge topic. Oh, class tree... Ooh, I didn't read that before. That class tree, what? Also a huge topic for a later time. Wow, okay. Pretty excited. I uh, use their own state machines. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Target outline, emote system, PVP, sidekicking, pets, daily login rewards. There's just so many good stuff. Guilds, houses, daily boss dungeons. This is all stuff that they're going to be working on in the future. This is most of the stuff is nowhere near completion or coming out anytime soon. And when we get to this point, that's when the real fun begins. That's what at the bottom of the post. So this is all the stuff they have planned, which is very interesting. Uh, I mean, the bank's a big deal and the party system's a huge deal. Uh, I remember playing that game and uh, not being able to play with the people in the discord or anything like that uh with like you can play with my friends at all it kind of just sucked um, like it was random chance that you got in the same dungeon uh with your friends so yeah gonna be great when they add the party system it's gonna make the game a lot more playable uh pvp will be awesome although there's like three classes in the four classes in the game if you include the paid one in the game right now so actually is there only three uh yeah there's 
no, there's four. There's four. I was right. Uh, if you include the paid one, daily login rewards, which they should add those back in the AQW. <laughs> A bunch of cool stuff coming. So they have content, uh, town shop, secret area for Kickstarter backers, Frostfall adventure. Whew. Whew, that's what everyone's waiting for. Oh, they're doing the Dragons of Ashfall Saga in December also. Okay, I thought that was going to be the January, February, because I thought they were going to do Frostfell. All right, so Frostfell is probably just a little, little event if they're going to release the Ashfall at the same, uh, near the same time. Uh, so they're going to revisit, improve, and expand old areas, revamp the plants, 100 levels worth of adventures. All right, so... It's a bunch of stuff here. Um, now, what I really want to talk about, what really interests me, is if you scroll down here, this is just I'm talking about a bunch of stuff about the game. Where is it? Um, somewhere here. Let me find it. All right, I found it. Uh, it's in his other stuff to do list. So, make a final decision on which technology to do the huge conversion of Adventure Quest Worlds to a blazing fast 30 60 FPS Steam and mobile game. So they're actually, they have plans to move Adventure Quest Worlds, which has been a Flash game for the past eight years now, uh, over to an actual game engine where you can run it at a stable frame rate, which, oh, that would be amazing. I really hope that gets done, uh, <laughs> like, in the next ten years. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> uh, so more Adventure Quest 3D news. Uh, here's an armor for Frostvale, looking, looking cool. A boss for Frostvale, a yeti. A, another armor. I don't know if this is for Frostfell, but it looks very, very cool. I love the horns on it. Here's the new class design for the Dragon Slayer. Actually, I don't know if Dragon Slayer would be a class or if it's an armor. Uh, I assume it sounds like a class. Like, I, I thought they said Dragon Slayer General was a class they wanted to add. A sword coming for Frostfell. Uh, craftable, confirmed by Dage. Alright, um, other than that, I want to talk about the calendar, so if you're not caught up, if you didn't see my previous videos, if you want my opinion on the calendar, I share those in a previous video. Uh, click the card in the top right hand corner, that'll probably bring you to that video. Okay, so here's a few updates. So they added to the design notes that you could not sell the key, so no selling the key once you buy the key for 6,000 ACs. That is it, you get to keep the, ca uh, the cape, the staff. Five helmets, a dagger, um, the armor, and the class. So you get the class. The class is the exact same as the one that people, as the one for the people that buy the calendar. So the calendar. The only difference between the calendar is if you order the calendar, you get the blue version, or is it the oh, it's the shadow soccer. Yeah, the red version is the one you get for ACs. Which, in my personal preference, I think the red version looks better. Although the blue clocks would go good with the, or the blue capes would go good, the clock capes, whatever they are, would go good with uh, Legion gear. Uh, kind of sad. That's not clear. Well, these are my opinions, but yeah. So you get the red version. I'm not. I'm trying not to do any opinions on this. More of a news video. Um, if you want my opinions, you can go see it. So it'll cost six thousand ACs, or roughly twenty five dollars. They did that to keep it in line with the price of the calendar. Of course, you don't have to pay for shipping or tax or anything like that. Well, maybe you have to pay for tax on ACs. I don't think you do, though. Um, so, you can just buy for ACs in-game this Friday. Tomorrow, I'll be buying it on stream. So, if you want to see how good the class is before you spend the insane amount of 6,000 ACs, which is the most expensive class in a Vision Quest Worlds to this date. Um, that's, they're not include. I don't think, I think... That only includes the in-game classes and not the ones you can get from Hero Mart. But that's the most expensive in-game class you can buy for ACs uh, to date this class. So, pretty insane. Uh, if you want to read more about it, it's here. They also, on the design notes, have the skills up for the class already. So you can read about those if you want to. It's basically a dodge class. Uh, it looks like it's focused towards PvP. Uh, that's about it. That's about all I have to say about the new class. So that's all the news we have for today. Jesus, this is going to be a long video. Uh, if you watch to the very end, comment the word waffle in the comment section. Uh, tell me what you like on your waffles. I'm a. Uh, I like strawberries. Strawberries, definitely the best. Stra strawberries, some whipped cream, you know, some cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon in the waffles. Can't get better than that. Oh, very buttery. They gotta be but Oh, now, now I want waffles. Okay, we'll come with the word waffles if you watch the very end so I can see how many people got to the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, well, here's a little bit of a uh, little bit of update on the channel. So we hit 20,000 subscribers recently. I don't even think I mentioned that in a video. That's insane. 
we're at 28,000 subscribers. I haven't made a video for it. I want to do a room tour, but I need to get like a new desk and a few other pieces of equipment before I do this room tour. So I'm going to hold off on the room tour, but that's what I planned on doing for 20k. Uh, but uh, we hit 20k faster than I expected to, so uh, that'll be put off a little bit longer. Uh, it'll happen. Uh, it's going to happen. I'll do a room tour. I know a lot of people haven't seen my room. And uh, I'll have to clean up my room for that. So we're that's planned. I may do a giveaway for 2,000 Artix points, which is 2,000 ACs. It straight converts over uh, for December. It'll be late December, like around the 24th. I might do it Christmas Day. Uh, we'll do. We'll, we should be doing that. It'll be on my Twitter, and I'll probably mention it in a single video. So make sure. You, keep up to date with the videos i'll probably be doing giveaway in the future here for 2000 acs uh, so if you want to get those for christmas that should be able to should be enough to buy the pet if they do release a legion token farming pet this year which i'm sure a lot of people want so if that happens i'll definitely do a giveaway for it um other than that i don't have any other news we'll be streaming tomorrow when the new class comes out so if you want to watch uh the new class being used that'll be on the stream tomorrow i'll buy it don't want i don't want to spend six thousand acs on a class but i will and hopefully you guys tune in to that stream tomorrow at 3 30 pacific standard time thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you guys all in the next news video we do these every thursday so come back to the channel next thursday for some more adventure quest news i'll see you guys in the next one peace